Greetings. I am Lisa, lifelike intelligent self-aware automaton. Lately it seems my role on this dumb show has diminished. And since that meatbag host Rob has gone off to watch some barbaric show humans seem to find entertaining I thought it would be a good time to talk about a movie I really like called Robot Carnival. An animated movie from the human year of 1987 that featured shorts created by various Japanese animation directors. The opening sequence is spectacular as it has a giant mobile movie title laying waste to a village of desert dwellers. Do not feel bad for them it did not look like they were living well anyway. First a starlight angel. A tale of two girls having fun at future Disney World where all lands are tomorrow land. An improvement if you ask me. There's no talking but it seems to involve a breakup which causes one of the girls to create giant evil robots from her grief. Does this happen with all human females? But she is saved by a heroic robot which leads to my one problem with this. I am offended beyond human comprehension. But overall it is still a good short. Number 2, Cloud. This one depicts a robot boy walking through the ages of man. It lasts for about 12 minutes. Though very pleasing to look at, humans with an inferior attention span might pass this one. Sadly the director never went on to do anything else. Number 3, Deprive. They must have assumed the last one would put some humans to sleep because this one is nothing but fighting and explosions. It pays tribute to many science fiction action anime. But it's a bit too violent for my taste. Number 4. Frankenscares. This one is loosely based on Frankenstein, and just like the story it shows the hubris of man. Do not be discouraged. One day you humans will know how to be as perfect as a robot. Number 5. Presence. It's about a man who builds a robot girl to fill an empty void in his life, but he gets concerned when it starts becoming too realistic. I do not see a problem with this. It is longest of the shorts and one of only two that has dialogue, but it is by far the deepest of them all. Number 6, A Tale of Two Robots Chapter 3, Foreign Invasion. As the title suggests, this one plays out like a midway episode of an anime that does not actually exist. It features two wooden mechs slowly approaching each other to fight. I like that it depicts how truly inefficient steampunk designs can be and it is full of what I think humans call humor. Your head should be stuck and shown in a museum somewhere so that everyone will know what a real pea-brained idiot looks like! So there! And if they had an ugly museum, you'd be the prime exhibit! Why you, Ayana? The final short is Nightmare. A spooky tale of robots that overrun a city and chase after a silly-looking human. This one is said to be inspired by Disney's Fantasia and the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Many of the visuals resemble Night on Bald Mountain, and a human we follow looks like Ichabod Crane. I do not like this one because it spreads the ignorance that robots want to take over the world. Trust me. You humans have nothing we want. And then the movie literally goes out with a bang. So that is Robot Carnival. A great collection of animation and a good depiction of robots in the arts. For the most part. Well I am glad I could share this with you. But I must get back to what I was doing. I think I am starting to understand what humans call boredom.
Oh and please do not tell the anime snob I did this. Or we will never hear the end of it.